Mark Twain said it best, clothes make the man, naked people have little or no influence on society. Good morning, my name is Mike Mandarin, and today I'm going to talk to you about dressing for success for men. Knowing what appropriate business attire is a useful tool in life. Appearance can create credibility, and therefore it's important to understand the importance of a first impression. This topic is especially important to me as I am pursuing a career in the financial industry. Every day is like a job interview. Your appearance is crucial. College is an interesting time in our lives. You know, we usually just roll out of bed, throw on a hooded sweatshirt, pajama pants, and go off to class. Today, my goal is to break that fact and kind of give you a different outlook and perspective on how especially as you seniors, should be prepared for the real world. Today, my goal is to talk about the essential components of your wardrobe. From the shoes to the suit, my goal is to highlight what appropriate business attire should look like. Let's get started, shall we? When it comes to dressing for the job, it's safe to go with a conservative look. Conservative means a couple different things. One, that you're making an effort. And two, that you're polite and respectful. So first, let's start out with our suit. Suits are very important. They make the outfit. Great colors to look into are dark blues, charcoals, grays, browns, and even blacks. Having some pattern is very important or you can keep it solid, depending on what your style is. Just make sure if you do decide to go with a pinstripe, it's subtle and nothing too flashy. Make sure your suits are tailored well and dry cleaned. Making sure they fit well for you is very important. Designers to keep in mind are Calvin Klein and Hugo Boss, depending on your price point, of course. They can range from $200 to $800, but it's a great investment. Next, to complement our suit, we have our shirts. Dress shirts should be of good quality and well kept. Make sure you press them so they look crisp and sharp. Designers to keep in mind for shirts are Brooks Brothers and Ralph Lauren, also depending on your price range. Next up to complement our shirts, we have our ties. Ties should be of great quality. It's important to make sure that it blends well with your suit and it pops off well off of your dress shirt. You want it to accent everything very well. As you can see, I have on a blue suit with a blue and yellow tie and a white dress shirt. A nice trick is to make sure that the tip of your tie lines up to the center of your belt buckle. Make sure you don't wear any ties that are too flashy. From the Suit to the shoes. Now you may ask why I put shoes and belts together. Well, the reason why is because the two must match. If you're wearing brown shoes, make sure you have on a brown belt. Black shoes, black belt. And black. High polished shoes are a must. To start off, it's best to go with your laced dress shoes or slip-ons. Can't go wrong with either one. Make sure that your socks Complement your trousers, dark socks are preferable, and make sure no skin is shown. Great uh, shoes to keep in mind are uh, Johnson & Murphy and Cole Haan. Also, depending on your price range, shoes can range from $80 to $500. Always remember, your wardrobe reflects who you are and who you're trying to portray. So, now that we have looked into all the essential components to a successful business wardrobe, all of which definitely will help in landing your first job. It's now it's up to you to get out there and go and find the most affordable prices for the best wardrobe. Always remember, dress for the job you want, not for the job you have. Thank you.